Hola y bienvenidos a otra lección. In this lesson, uh, we're in chapter 4.2 or 4B. Uh, it's just vocab recognition. I want to get you guys a little bit familiar with the vocab that we're going to be using this chapter. Um, uh, this lesson isn't meant as like your full-on learn the vocab. It's just familiarity, get in the groove. Now, if you want to stop, go back and do seven to eight words at a time, work on those, chunk them off like that. That's great, um, but we're mostly going to be doing this stuff in class. For right now, I want you guys to get familiar with the words, with the pronunciation of the words, and, um, and then we'll, we'll work more with it in class. So anyway, here you go. Here are your vocab words for this chapter. Let's see. First one, abrazarse. Oh, by the way, please repeat. Abrazarse. Okay, it means to hug. You'll notice we have this se at the end of it. The se, um, usually reflexive, myself, yourself. In this chapter, that means each other. So, abrazarse, to hug each other. Okay, here we go. Repite, por favor. Besarse. Okay, besar, to kiss. Besarse, to kiss each other. Darse la mano. Repite, darse la mano. To shake hands, literally to give each other the hand, but in English we say to shake hands. Darse la mano. Repite. Despedirse. Despedirse, to say farewell, to say goodbye. Repite. Los modales. Modales. Manners. Modo. Modales. Saludarse. Saludarse to greet each other, or salute each other. Sonreír. Okay, notice it's an E to I stem change. This is kind of weird because the stem change is there at the end, and that I is accented. We'll, uh, we're, we'll, we'll, we will work on conjugating that in class. Sonreír to smile. Sonrío, sonríes, sonríe. Okay, el bebé, repite el bebé. Repite, la bebé. Notice it's bebé for either one. Some places you'll hear people say, la beba, but that's not right. El bebé or la bebé. Baby. Repite, contar chistes. Contar means to give an account or to tell in chistes or jokes. So, yo cuento chistes, tú cuentas chistes. Repite, llevarse bien. Llevarse bien, to get along well. So, nos llevamos bien. We get along with each other well. Nos llevamos bien. Ellos se llevan mal. Se llevan mal. They get along badly. Llorar. Repite, llorar. To cry. Los mayores. Mayores are grown up. Like mayor, major, greater than, grown up. Mayores. Los parientes. Repite, los parientes. Okay, parientes, not parents. Relatives. What are, how do you say parents? That would be padres. Parientes are relatives. Reírse. Reírse to laugh. Me río, te ríes. It's a, another funny stem change we'll talk about. Repite, reunirse. Now, we've had reunión for a meeting. This is the verb, so to reunite, to get together, to meet. Okay, it's not always a reunion, like a family reunion, but it could be to meet, to get together. Alrededor de. Alrededor de. Around. El aniversario. No, most common mistake here is that English speakers will spell it with two N's, but there's only one. Aniversario. Casarse con. Okay, to get married to, get married with each other. Charlar. To chat. Some places it would be more platicar, but for this chapter we'll say charlar. Repite la costumbre. Costumbre is like a custom. Cumplir años. To have a birthday. Literally to complete years. Because it's the day that you mark the anniversary of completing another year of life. To complete years. 
In English, we would say to have a birthday. El desfile. A parade. As you file down the street, if you could see that, perhaps. El día festivo. Holiday. It's like a festival day, festive day. Divertirse. To have fun. You'll recognize the um, stem change again. Me divierto. I enjoy myself. Diversion. If, you, if you've ever heard of the word diversion, like a diversion, place of diversion, it's a um, to have fun. So divertirse, to divert oneself, to have fun. This one's pretty easy. Enorme. Repite. Enorme. Enormous, of course. Felicidades! In Spain. Felicidades! Okay. Congratulations. Happinesses. Felicitar. The verb form of that. Felicitar. To congratulate. Fiesta de sorpresa. Party of surprise. Surprise party. Fuegos artificiales. Boys all over right now are watching this video going, yeah, fuegos. Fireworks. Artificial fires, if you see that. Los fuegos artificiales. Repite. I'm sorry, I don't know if I gave you time a moment ago. Fuegos artificiales. Repite. Hacer un picnic. It's a fun one. To do or make a picnic. Repite. Nacer. Be born. Regalar. He might recognize it from the noun regalo, to gift or to give a gift. La reunión. Repite, la reunión. Gathering, meeting, reunion. Antiguo or antigua. Old, antique. Also, sometimes for ancient, they'll use the word antiguo for ancient. Ooh, that's a fun one to say. Repite. Frecuentemente. You remember that that mente at the end of words uh, makes it like an adverb. It's like the L-Y in English. Whenever we see the mente at the end. Like desafortunadamente, unfortunately. Frecuentemente, frequently. Okay. Almost done here. Había, in perfect form. There was or there were. Había una vez. Once upon a time there was. Repite mientras. Mientras, while. Mientras ellos charlaban, while they were talking. Mientras. Last one, I believe. Yes, it is. Recordar. You've seen this before. It's a stem changer. Yo recuerdo, tú recuerdas. To remember, to record, to remember, have it in your brain. Okay, that's it for vocab for this chapter. That's your quick overview. Um, I do suggest you watch this once or twice. Go through, repeat the words, think about them, or go off and t put them into chunks so that you can get to know them a little bit better. But there is your introduction to this chapter. Next time we'll be going a little more in depth and starting to use the words. That's all for now. Um, for your assignment, my students, yeah, let's just say write three sentences using uh, three different words from this list. And make them good sentences. Don't just skimp and give me something cheap or you know, lame. Give me a good, solid sentence using a few of these words. Adios.